on this channel, I've showed many different sort of possibilities of a portal game in VR. Even kind of going back all the way to my first year of VR where I showed off a game called Portal Stories VR. And I know, ever since then, all these games sort of had a major complaint of the fact that there was no portals. Like, yeah, it was an Aperture Laboratory that had all the nice aesthetics and had GLaDOS a lot of them, but there was still no portals. Well, let me just say for the fact, I actually kind of agree with that. While I understand why there hasn't been a portal game, and even Valve themselves has been saying many times that they've done some experiments with like sort of a portal in VR and just made people sick. And even a month ago, I sort of kind of said that I hope VR in the near future can solve this problem so we can have a Portal 3 or a Portal VR built from Valve. I feel people's tolerance of sort of motion sickness since 2016 has changed a lot. While I definitely don't think that we should expect people to just get over their motion sickness in general, I finally have a sort of silver lining that really just gets me really excited. Someone has gotten an actual working portal gun working in Half-Life Alex, and that alone has caused a huge effort, or at least a small effort right now, but maybe huge later on, to actually port the entirety of Portal 1 into Half-Life Alex. It's only the first couple levels right now, but really this, the amount of polish and just in general, the greatness that I saw from this uh, actual workshop mod was really worth for me to show it off. So here's the full gameplay. If you don't want to watch it, go ahead and play it if you have VR, but it's a really good time. And I think it really just shows you, hey, maybe one day a true portal VR or VR successor can exist. Enjoy. Excellent. Please proceed into the chamber lock after completing each test. First, however, note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This aperture science material emancipation grill will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through it. For instance, the aperture science weighted storage cube. Please place the weighted storage cube on the 1500 megawatt aperture science heavy duty super colliding super button. Perfect. Please move quickly to the chamber lock as the effects of prolonged exposure to the button are not part of this test. You're doing very well. Please be advised that a noticeable taste of blood is not part of any test protocol but is an unintended side effect of the Aperture Science Material Emancipation Grill, which may, in semi-rare cases, emancipate dental fillings, crowns, tooth enamel, and teeth. Very good. You are now in possession of the Aperture Science handheld portal device. 
with it, you can create your own portals. These interdimensional gates have proven to be completely safe. The device, however, has not. Do not touch the operational end of the device. Do not look directly at the operational end of the device. Do not submerge the device in liquid, even partially. Most importantly, under no circumstances should you... To ensure the safe performance of all authorized activities, do not destroy vital testing apparatus. Please proceed to the chamber lock. Mind the gap. At the enrichment center, we promise never to value your safety above your unique ideas and creativity. However, do not destroy vital testing apparatus. the enrichment center, we promise never to value your safety above your unique ideas and creativity. However, do not destroy vital testing apparatus. Well done. Remember, the Aperture Science Bring Your Daughter to Work Day is the perfect time to have her tested. For your own safety, do not destroy vital testing apparatus.